This section is on direct variation. So with direct variation, there's um, a definition here that you need to understand. It is a special type of linear relationship. Remember, linear means a straight line that can be written in the form of y equals k times x where k is a non-zero constant called the constant of change. So the direct variation, you're really going to be working with the formula y equals k times x. You have your y and your x, and then your k is representing your constant. In direct variation, the ratio of y divided by x is equal to the constant of variation k. A way to identify a direct variation is to check whether y divided by x is the same for each ordered pair. So we are going to be working with the formula y equals k times x or or another way to think of this is y divided by x is going to give you your k and your k should be constant. Meaning every time you divide a y divide by your x, you're going to get a value k, which should be the same value every time, especially when you're working with charts. So we're going to be working with some examples here of direct variation and finding our constant k. For our first example, it says tell whether each equation represents a direct variation. If so, identify the constant of variation. So the first example here, it's in the form of 3y equals 4x plus 1, and we need to determine if this represents a direct variation in the form of y equals k times x. So looking at this, can we put this in the form of y equals k times x? Well, we can't because we have this plus 1 right here, Oops. and this plus 1 gets in the way of putting this equation into the form of y equals k times x. So for this situation, we would say no, this equation does not represent a direct variation. The next problem that's given to us, B, we have 3x equals negative 4y. Now, this is not in the form of y equals kx, k times x, but if we think of y divided by x to give us k, we can set this up in that form by dividing negative 4 to each side. So what we have here is negative 3 fourths x equals my y, and then it is in the form of y equals k times x, because we have my y on this side, my x times my constant, my k is going to be my 3 fourths. So we can say yes for b. We can put that in the direct variation form by finding our k. Let's look at the next one. Can we put it in the form of y equals k times x? Well, we have y plus 3x equals 0. And if we subtract 3x to each side, we get the form of y equals negative 3x. And so, yes, we can put this in the direct variation. What is my k, my constant, going to be? It's going to be negative 3 here. So this is, yes, this is a direct variation situation. For b, we can label k equals negative 3 fourths as well here. Okay, so that's how we can determine if we can put an equation in a direct variation form by finding our k and setting it up as y equals k times x, or y divided by x is going to give you your k. The next example here, too, um, we are given two tables, and they want us to tell whether each relationship is a direct variation and explain. So what we're going to do to help us determine if this is 
um, a relation with direct variation is we're going to whoops look at the form of y divided by x to get my k. When we divide y in x to each, we should have a constant number that we're getting an answer for. So let's look at this and see. If we do 0 divided by negative 3, that's going to give me 0. y, 3 divided by 1, gives me 3. Notice my answers are different for k each time. Let's do the last one. y is 6 divided by 3, which equals 2. Each of my k values that I solve for here are different. So this is not, no, this is not a direct variation because the value of y divided by x is not the same for each set of ordered pairs. So what that means is when we find our direct variation, sorry, my slides keep moving here on me. When we find our direct variation dividing y and x, we get different values for k, so that means there's not a relation, so this is not, um, this is not a relation for a direct variation. But let's look at the next one. We have here negative 10 divided by 2.5. So negative 10 divided by 2.5 is going to give me, whoops, is going to give me negative 4. Negative 20 divided by 5 gives me negative 4. And negative 30 divided by 7.5 is also going to give me negative 4. Notice for my k that I'm getting, my constant, the 4s, I get negative 4 for each one. So this would be, yes, there is a relation ship between these direct variations. Sorry, my screens keep switching for some reason. I don't know why it's doing that. Um, so yes, there is a relationship with this table. The value, yes, the value of y divided by x is the same for each ordered pair. Okay. Moving along to the last example. Example three, it says the values of y varies directly with x and y equals 4.5 when x equals 0.5. Find y when x equals 10. For this example, there are two parts to this. We first have to find, so step one, whoops. For my step one, um, we first need to find k, my constant. And then once we find k, then we can solve and find our y. All right, so to find my k, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the formula y equals k times x and see what's given to me. So we have y is 4.5 and x is 0 0.5, so I can set this up as 4.5 equals, we don't know what my k is, we can leave that k, times my x, which is 0 0.5. To find my constant k, I will divide 0 0.5 to each side. 4.5 divided by 5 is going to give me 9, so my constant k equals 9. 
So with my constant k equaling 9, now I do my second step where I solve now for finding y when x is going to give me 10. So this is the second part. So I have y equals my k now is 9 times my x now is 10. So my y is going to equal 9 times 10 is 90. So notice how I set up using direct variation to find my k for the first part of it with my x and my y. Then the second part using my constant, I set up using direct variation now to find my y. So you really have two answers here. Your k is 9, your y equals 90.